Hi, I'm Christy. Today I want to talk about how longer hours lead to greater rewards. Parenting is hard work and lots of extra hours, but the rewards make it all worth it. Parenting and caregiving to an individual with special needs is that much more. More hard work, even longer and more extra hours. But again, the rewards are even greater and more than make up for all the time, tears, and effort you put in. Over the years, Parenting AJ has run the gamut. Highly time-intensive times when he required so much from me. To other times when all of Sean's activities were what kept me on, hopping and on my toes. Now, at the peak, we had six sessions of therapy every week for AJ when he was little. Add in school, church activities, and other family commitments. Yeah, it was a lot. I remember being asked why I wasn't involved in a particular bi-weekly activity at church when the boys were little. Being overwhelmed with appointments, I looked at my calendar and counted 14 times each week I had to make sure I was in the right place at the right time to do something for AJ. And that was just for his therapy appointments and school bus drop-off or pick-up. No other appointments or commitments for AJ or any other family member. My response? I don't need another appointment in my life right now. Now that's just one simple, almost irrelevant example of how special needs complicate life. And yet those therapy appointments helped AJ learn the skills he needed to be able to live his best life. There are a lot of what helped him get to where he is today. The rewards, completely sweet and totally worth it to watch him desire his independence and slowly develop the skills necessary to have some version of independence. Or here's another example. I remember when AJ was about six or seven. I was on the phone with a friend who had a daughter who was six weeks older than AJ. Born full term. The little girl came up to her mom and asked if she could go to the bathroom. Mom was a bit annoyed at being interrupted while she was on the phone, especially for something that her daughter could easily handle on her own and didn't really need a permission for. I think her response was something like, yes, just go. You don't need my permission to go to the bathroom. Now at this point, AJ wasn't yet potty trained. That meant I was still changing pull-ups multiple times a day and making sure that he had either he had enough either at school or in his backpack to make sure that he could make it through the school day clean and dry. And it made, I had to make sure there was also a change of clothes available in case there was an accident. My response to my friend was something, to the, something along the lines of, I just wish AJ could go to the bathroom by himself. Now, she immediately felt horrible and apologized. I told her not to feel bad. We were just in different situations but it gave both of us a perspective shift. Today, I'm sure my friend has completely forgotten about this brief conversation and wouldn't remember it if I asked her about it. But it's always stuck with me. I think it's a great example of how special needs can and do dramatically impact all aspects of life for years and sometimes for a whole lifetime. Now that AJ is an adult, things are a bit easier in some respects. He no longer requires 24-7 supervision and prefers being left home alone. His desire for independence is strong. He pushes for it in any and every way he can. And we do what we can to give him as much as he can safely handle. But he still requires more supervision and effort than Sean does. And not just because Sean no longer lives at home. I'm, completely, I'm not completely convinced that AJ would respond appropriately in an emergency especially if that emergency happens while he's home alone. He can't complete paperwork independently, nor get himself to and from appointments. This means I'm still making appointments for him, taking him to those appointments, and completing all necessary aspects for him. Yes, over the years, he'll probably learn to do some of these things for himself. But I'm not sure he'll ever be able to complete all of those things himself. Then there's conversation with AJ. He holds conversations regularly consistently. Sometimes even when no one else is around. Yes, we've heard him carry on both sides of the conversation with himself numerous times. Um, it's quite entertaining and humorous. But when he talks to people, the topics he covers are very narrow. His day, Paw Patrol, or another YouTube channel he watches, and most consistently, something vehicle related. But he'll talk your ear off about them over and over and over again every single time he sees you. Now, we're fortunate to have friends around us who understand and accept this about AJ, to the point where some of them even ask him what car he's driving whenever they see him. 
and they actively engage him in conversation, knowing that it's likely to always and only be car related. Now, it could be easy to read this post and think that special needs life is really difficult. But remember, I also comment about how it's a blessed life. And I mean that wholeheartedly. Because of parenting AJ, I've learned more about myself. I've developed a bigger bag of parenting tricks. I've learned to embrace more people. I've mastered medical terminology and can spout it like a pro. I was even recently asked what my medical background was. I just pointed to AJ. I've learned to push through mental blocks to get him what he needs to live his best life. And so much more. When I consider his start, I realize all over again how blessed I am that he's doing as well as he is. He's doing so much more than many, including myself, ever thought he'd be capable of when he was little. And considering he even survived, well, that's a whole bunch of miracles right there. I wouldn't change my life for anything. My life is richer for having AJ in it, special needs and all. So my question for you this week is this. What is your experience with special needs been like? I'd love to hear your stories. You can leave me a comment below or you can leave me a comment over on the blog. That's at www.havenofhopeforme.com. This originally posted the beginning of April of 2022. If you prefer, you can also email me at christy, C-H-R-I-S-T-Y, at havenofhopeforme.com. I'm blessed with a rich life that includes special needs, and I'm continuing to say that life is good and there is never a dull moment.